this is Swagger's doing Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Technically, we're at the start of mission four here, but we're gonna kind of uh, not do that mission, and we're gonna pick up yet another side mission. So we gotta sneak into our super secret office, TF-29. We're not really sneaking in. We're sneaking in as far as the public is concerned. So this will be the last side mission we do in Prague 1, the first time we go to Prague. There is another side mission, 01011000, but for me I can't get any of the posters to glitch. So it can be done in day 2, so I'm hoping that it's, uh, it's going to work out for me in day 2. So we're not going to really uh, loot this place, we're just going to try to get our side mission started and move on. There's lots of stuff you can grab around here. We're going to come up here and Arya is going to give us a little talk, doesn't matter. Gives us a shooting range and then we're coming in here to talk to Peter. He's the one who's got a side mission for us. Again, we can just loot, pretty much loot anything we want. Uh, people will stand there and you can just open their safes and take it. But uh, our main concern here is to get this side mission started. So I'm just grabbing this stuff right around him. And then there's a pocket secretary with a code for the bank which we are going to go to this mission, but again, because of the, we're going for Foxiest and all that, um, we're not going to really spend too much in the bank getting extra things that we don't really need. So let's talk to Peter here. And really the only thing that you need to know to do here is to say, yep, we're going to accept the mission. So we accept. And then we are going to leave TF-29. It's not a secret, so I'm not going to show you. But we're going just down the street to this number 33 building. We've been in here for a previous side mission. This time we're going to head up to the, I think, top floor on the right side. Other side. This this building has very bad walls. Look at that. There's another punch. There's punch through areas on the other side. There's punch through area there. This is the room we want, number 302. So we, you can hack it uh, if you want to. We're just going to jump into uh, the window here. And then the computer, I believe, is not even... Yeah, it is locked, so we're going to hack the computer. Level 1, though. I mean, come on, guys. Why even bother? Hacking, hacking, hacking. Boom. Luckily, it's a quick hack, and we're done. Read the messages, but the big thing is to do messenger on this computer, and someone's going to contact us. And then you just want to kind of play along um, until you get the information of where their meat is. Inquire. And then we're going to question. Boom. There's some, there's some software here we can grab right away. I think that's about it for this place. Here's all the conspiracy theories on our work. Yeah. Okay, so the music box, there's a manhole cover. I don't have Icarus Landing at this point, so we are going to just go down the ladder. And we just need to head through the sewers. Crouching. Running. Don't need to take it's not that far. You can you can jump down there, guys. Okay, and they're actually hidden behind all this stack stuff here.
And there's nothing, I don't think, unless I just miss seeing it, there's nothing in any of these drawers. Nothing around here. We just gotta move all these uh, boxes here to get in there. And then we gotta hack the nothing in here either. We gotta hack that panel to open that door. So, you can just kill these guys, you can just take them out, but to get the achievement, we've got to go through their entire storyline, uh, which is going to take a little while. Anomaly detected. Trace program come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got it. Access granted. Access granted. Security door opening. So, because we're going for the full thing, just walk on in and start talking to these guys. So the big thing here is we need to convince them that we can get them a bigger story than about Provo. I think we can do that. I'm here for Sam's dad. You in charge? No one's in charge of Siemens, that man. I mean, it's it's all over the cloud. It's everywhere, dude. It's just truth and freedom of information, and it's just it's just super cool, dude. So, but yeah, I guess maybe. I mean, if you want to put labels on things, then I'm in charge. Don't think that really matters, but I reasoned with him. Okay, dude, I get it, man. Yeah, so pretty much, they don't really know what's going on. They just know something's hokey. So it's not really a big story for them. And they probably knew that it was hiding our big government task force facility. They probably wouldn't be so easy to uh, persuade to go another direction. something other people are already looking into. If someone like you makes too much noise, that may compromise any chance they have of uncovering something bigger. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm supposed to believe no, we're, we're definitely not colleagues, dude. I just don't want to deal with the mess of you screwing with my livelihood. I want to know the story about how he became K and the other guy became little K. I need you to stop looking into that's that's the story that interests me in all of this. You co we cover things up all the time. We're totally into covering things up. And that's exactly what you're asking me to do. To pretend like that little import company isn't hiding something. I'm asking you to see a difference between conspiracy and discretion. Between people who hide information in order to push their own agendas and those who need to stay off the radio. Oh, bah, bah, bah. So, in, in this case, the bank is not a bank for money, it's a bank for information. It holds people's secrets. It's really just secure data servers and the like. Okay, so here we're going to work together so that we can continue the mission and again what we want to do is work with them we got to get the information and then help spread it to the world and that'll complete the mission completely and give us the 
also desired Samizat achievement. Okay, so a lot of this is blah blah blah. What we need to do now is we need to get to the bank. Don't worry, man. Who knows what else we're learning? Now he's Canadian. Okay. We are going to kind of uh, loot this area a little bit. Steal your money. Hey, new practice kit. Yay. Not, nothing under there. Moving along. The big thing we want is what we started by, that first cardboard box. Yeah, we'll take some new software for surezies. And then the only really other thing which is which we absolutely want here is move this box and boom. Multi-tool. Love it. Love it. Okay, so let's get out of here. And uh, fast forward to the bank, Palisade Property Bank. We can just walk in. Bank does business with normal people. Ebook right here. Ebook right here. Oh, why does this start with chapter three? Uh, we are allowed to walk right into the executive boardroom. So we're going to grab a pocket secretary here. And that's going to give us the code to the office across the way. Problem is, we got the code. We can open the door, which we will go do for the experience. But anyone, just by walking in, these these civilians are going to flip out for no reason. It's just an office. We're just walking into office. They don't care that we're typing. We type it in the code normally, so it looks like we should have rights. And uh, we'll get the experience of that. But if you walked in there, oh, those civilians just flip their lid. Move the trash can to get to the vent. And actually, what we should have done there is we need to hit the elevator first. Now, this goes into the security room, um, which is kind of a mess. So we're going to come into this room. But what we need to do is not get into that vent. We need to get the one ahead of it. And the elevator is blocking the way. So if you have remote hack, you can just remote hack that right there. And that'll bring the elevator down. We do not have remote hack at this time, so all we gotta do is kind of back up a little bit here and uh, call the elevator down. Other side. Okay, so we don't have a card to actually get up to that level, but now we can just jump, jump, jump our way up. And then turn back. We want to get to that platform up there. And now we're on the level three offices. And we'll use the vent. We're going up. And then this would just drop us kind of in an area. We don't want to be there. So we're going to go up to this vent. And this is not where we want to be either. There his office. There's a there's a vent that is going to drop us right down in front. So I think there's some boxes in front of it. Yep, right here. Okay. And there are two guys patrolling. The one guy kind of sits down now, and he's going to stay seated. Um. So what we're gonna what we have to do here is we're just. Obviously, you could open it and cloak, but it's a lot easier to just wait. He, he does a couple of minor turns, minor turns, minor turns, and then he will walk away, and we can just uh, sneak right past this area. Come on, buddy. Oh, 
Oh, I thought you were going to walk there. I thought you were going to walk there, you sneaky. Come on, dude. There he goes. Okay, make sure you're crouched or you have leg silencers on. And we're going to go up here. And then there is a camera at the top. So we're going to wall there. And then just make, a, you know, A. Don't hold A. That just goes around the corner. But hit A to just run yourself up to the panel there. And then a level one. This is, we're going to start seeing opportunities to earn other money by doing other nodes. And we're in. Okay, and then watch the camera. Make sure you can get in without getting seen. It's kind of a weird setup. The CTO and the CEO um, are in the same office here. Don't want to set off the alarm. I was hoping we could just close the door, but it'll close on its own. Um, credit chip, and we're going to hack these computers. This one, we're just hacking for the points. Kind of a firm believer in hack everything. And But as you can see now, I should be I should start getting stealth software. I should also start being, you know doing some fortifications. Because that's how you make the moolah. Access, Access granted. granted. Got 150 credits extra here. First try. 80% of the time, I get it right 100% of the time. Okay, so drinking water analysis. Now this counts as something we could take to them. So you can see we're gonna get our ghost and our smooth operator at this point. But there is a better option. So we're gonna hack out the security camera here just to make our leave easier. I think I use a worm here, a stop worm. Access oh, no, we got in. Cameras off. Cam laser grid off. Alarm panels off. Okay, and then for the big guy's computer. Level three, fortifying. I could start capture. I should capture now. Anomaly detected. I don't know why I was waiting Trace there. Fortification. Come on. Okay, so I did use a worm there, just so you know. Give myself five extra seconds. Obviously, obviously these hacks are completely random. You might not even get seen uh, for the first time. You know, you might get longer than us. Okay, so what we need to do here is now there's a, a puzzle. The statue, they mentioned the mechanical puzzle in the thing. So we're gonna raise and then hold it to turn and then raise twice. Sorry, hold it. Okay, sorry. Raise, turn, raise, turn, turn, raise. Sorry about that. Breach software, pocket secretary. New storage code. Steal everything. There's an ebook in here. But the big thing, what we want, is right here. Level one. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. 
think I'm gonna use another worm here because I started a little slow. Boom. Okay. Access granted. Unlock the safe. Thank you. Okay, the flight dossier. So now this is even better. Kay's really gonna love that. A Praxis kit. Awesome. Credit chip. And then there is another triangle code if you're doing the Deus Ex universe. I haven't done very good at keeping track of those. Uh, might go back, you know, at the end and kind of run through and find them. I know I missed one, unfortunately, in the um, first mission. There was another one in Dubai that I missed. <coughs> so there is the code. Okay, so a couple ways to leave. We're going to just reverse now that the camera's off. Really, the only thing we have to worry about is the two guards down here. So crouch. Shimmy up on this wall. Move to the desk. He's looking the other way. We're going to make a run for it. Door open. Back in the vent. And then just reverse everything. No, nope, wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. Can't even get up there anyway. There's one we want. That's where we came from. Okay, drop down. Right there. And uh, we're free. We're no longer restricted. So let's uh, jump on back to uh, K and little K and whoever the third guy is. And we're going to give him uh, both pieces of evidence. And then the final thing he's going to want us to do is he's going to want us to go up into an info hub in the city. So give evidence. And then we're... First, we're going to give him the water, I believe, just automatically. Yeah, well, you can give him whatever you want. We'll give him the flight, and then we also give him the water. And then he's going to ask us to go hack uh, info hub for the city. And how we do that is, well, let's just let's just wait and see. Let's see together. This is it, man. This is this is headline material, man. Oh, man, you did so good, man. Oh, the information. You know, everyone just deserves the information. Oh, by the way, here's 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 just like the cream and you know the, just the frosting on the top of the cake, man. It's just even more. You guys are gonna be typing, you know, all the time. Oh, bad people are gonna come probably murder you because of how much information you have here, man. Jen's gonna be like, okay, we're done. They're gonna, yeah, you know, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's just one more thing. Just one more thing. Which side? One more thing. Are we done here? Are we done here? These hogs are really pushing on my larynx. Praha, what, dude? <laughs> you know what I mean, man? Oh, man, yeah. Okay. Let's get out of this hellhole. So this is the building. Um, there's a ladder there. That they say you can jump to. I, I can't make the jump. So I'm going to waste a bio cell on this here. And then just uh, ride it on up. And then all we got to do, there's a level one hack in this thing. And then the achievement will pop. And we will be done. And then we're actually going to get going on the actual story. The actual story of the game. Video number eight. Story time. Thanks for watching, guys. I will talk to you then. Anomaly detected. Trace program access granted. Okay, you there? Who is this? How'd you get these numbers? I did what you asked. Sam and dad should have no problem getting its message out now. You remember our deal? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't compromise whatever little game you're playing over at that import company. Try to keep a low profile. 
If Pikus wasn't gunning for you before, they will be now. Uh, don't worry. Just make sure you remember who the good guys are.